The ocean is enormous, but it's also very fragile. And one of the most striking things is the lack of information about what happens over the horizon in the ocean. When you look at a map of, of the Earth, there's just a huge chunk of ocean out in the middle that is owned by nobody, or maybe owned by everybody if you want to think about it that way, and those are the high seas. Essentially, if you're a fisherman who wants to fish out on the high seas, you can go do that, and there are very few rules and very little oversight about what you do. Many of the world's fishing vessels are required to transmit their positions, but actually that's a choice that a captain makes. So while he's required to keep it on, he can flip that, that thing off. And so we think of these vessels as the dark fleet. For us, when a vessel goes dark, it raises suspicion. It's a clue that something might be up in the water, but we don't know because we can't see it. That is all changing now with this new satellite technology. Now we have these new technologies that allow us to track many of the world's fishing vessels in near real time. So it's not just that we can look today at who's fishing and where they're fishing, but we can actually look retrospectively. Historically, people could fish wherever they want and not have to be accountable. Now, every time a large industrial fishing vessel does something, they will have to explain their actions. The age in which you can fish wherever you want without people knowing is coming to an end. The, the dark fleets are not going to be dark anymore. We're going to know where and when uh, large industrial vessels are.